Hi, I'm Richard Levine from the Entomological Society of America. I'm down here in Maceo, Brazil for the annual meeting of the Entomological Society of Brazil, and I'm here with Rosano Lenassi. Rosano, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm from down south Brazil, uh, Santa Catarina, the city is Camboriú, and I'm teaching cooking lessons, and for my students I do some Brazilian dishes, uh, international dishes, and of course the insects. All right, great. So uh, what have we got down here? Down here we have the cockroaches. I see two different kinds. This little one is Cineria, yeah. and the other biggest one is the Madagascar. The Madagascar hissing cockroach. Yeah. All right. Um, so you made some food for the attendees today, and um, you're ready to make something here in the kitchen too. Yeah. What are, we, what are you going to make? Uh, today you're going to make a traditional dish in Brazil called tapioca. All right. So uh, I see this first ingredient. What do we got it's here? It's tapioca flour Yeah. made from mani. Uh, and next? The condensed milk. Con yeah. And coconut. All right. So we got three ingredients plus the cockroaches. All of right. Course. <laughs> so, you ready to cook? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's do it. All right, Rosano. So we're about ready to cook. We've got all of our ingredients. You got a nice hot stove, which is important. Before we start, I got to tell you one thing. This is the very first time that I've been in the kitchen where cockroaches were welcome. <laughs> yeah, for the first time, the cockroaches are welcome in the kitchen. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so. Go ahead and let's see what, you, see what we do. Okay, the first thing I, I do is to, to heat the pan, and very hot. Very hot. And put the flour down here. All right. Now it's take a, a, a few seconds to, to be ready. All right. Does the tapioca brown? No. Or it's does it melt or what happens? Oh, it forms sort of a pancake, huh? Yeah, like a pancake. All right. Or a crepe, maybe. So this is the a, a pancake yeah. of tapioca, and we put the the ingredients. Yeah, the condensed milk. The condensed milk. A little bit of coconut. Coconut. And the cockroaches. The magic ingredient. So, put this and it's ready. It's ready? Yeah, it's a simple dish to, to be made. So do we have volunteers to try it? I'm trying it. All right, let's do it. So what do you think? Good. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Can I, uh, can I just try a cockroach alone first? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh man. The things I do for science. <laughs> Crunchy. It's full of cockroachy goodness. Yeah, it's all right. It does taste, it does kind of taste like nuts actually. A little crunch? Yeah, there's a crunch, but not a bad one, I guess because um, the, the wings aren't so hard and the exoskeleton is probably not so hard, so it's not too crunchy. Mm. Yeah, the, um, like you said, the condensed milk makes it sweeter, kind of rounds out the flavor. Very nice. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, so you, you study entomophagy, is that right? Yeah, I have been studying entomophagy for a long time. Um, so how is, it, how is it different in different regions of Brazil? Yeah. For example, in Amazon region, we have a lot of indigenous tribes, and it's more common for them to eat insects. Different from the people from Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, they don't use insects so widely. But so for, for the indigenous common. people, is it, a, is it something they eat daily? Yes, mm. daily, and because it's a traditional dish for, for them. So you, you're the editor of a journal, uh, which is, yes. what is the journal's name? Yes, uh, the journal of uh, insect as food and feed. It's from Holland. Journal of insect as food and, and feed. feed. Yeah. Yes. And um, so you actually have an international congress of entomophagy. Yes, we had, we had two congress already. It's one in year. Rome, and the, the, the last one was in Wageningen University. And when is the next one? 400. Oh. When is the next one? I think the next one is will be in Thailand, okay. Bangkok, in Thailand. Oh, they're famous for that, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. They have, they have uh, you can get insects on the street. Yes, it's yeah. very common oh, for great. tourists. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.